What's up guys? I know it's been a while but we're back and the reason why I missed like a few weeks of uploading was because I got sick and I had to take care of some stuff at home and once I got back to work we've been working like seven days so it's been a pretty hectic month last month but for those of you guys who are still here watching this video thank you guys for staying loyal and sticking around and thanks to those of you guys who ordered from our online shop I've been pretty busy with orders too so thank you guys for that and today we are gonna be finally wiring up my reverse lights and I'm gonna do a little bit explaining of what you gotta do with like the wiring for the five-speed transmission so first off I'm gonna be explaining um, the wiring situation and stuff because I know a lot of you guys have been messaging me on Instagram asking when are you gonna post the video and I'm sorry that it took this long to do so but here it finally is so when you do your five-speed swap it's pretty simple you don't really have to do any wiring at all but what you have to do is remove this guy which is your neutral safety switch it's on the right side of the transmission I believe hold up let's go take a look at the automatic transmission so I can kind of show you guys where it's located where it's exactly located and how to take it off Mini Jackson So this is the trans the automatic one and this part connects to your shifter lever and pretty much the neutral safety switch slides over this and has a nut so you just remove that nut and just slide it off and you have it there so what happens is that like I don't know which is park I forget if it's this or here but whenever you shift it it's like park neutral drive I'm oh, sorry there's like park reverse neutral drive and then like two low I think this is part but yeah I'm sure a lot of you guys know this already but if you guys don't know you can't start your car when your shifter is in like reverse drive or neutral it has to be in park so we pretty much keep the neutral safety switch connected to the harness just leave it here hanging and that pin that was like coming out the other side of the transmission it goes through here notice how it has the same shape and this was the nut that I was talking about so pretty much just left mine is there but yeah you pretty much leave it in the park position because you can you can like twist it You leave it in the park position and it makes the automatic ECU think that it's in park which allows the truck to start and this thing doesn't need to go into drive or reverse because you pretty much have because you because you pretty much just shift it into first gear yourself because it's a manual transmission but yeah the only thing about doing this is that you'll be stuck with a check engine light just because you have a automatic ECU and you don't have the torque converter anymore or other stuff that the ECU reads on the automatic trans and I haven't figured out how to like trick those other stuff to remove that check engine light but I'll do that later so if you guys are fine with having a check engine light for now then this is like the easiest route to go and me coming from like 240s or like other older cars like my mini trucks and stuff like check engine lights was off the wall so I guess I'm pretty much used to it but you can also remove the bulb just so you don't see the light all the time 
and I have the ultra gauge in my truck so I can still like get alerts if I get like check engine light and stuff so I mean I'm just dealing with it for now but if not then you would have to pretty much put in a manual transmission ECU but yeah that's pretty much all there is to it for the wiring like the easiest way and the reverse lights when um, the shifter lever on the automatic trans shifts into reverse it goes to like the second one like the first clip to the right or wherever so we're gonna try to go to the right so we're trying to so we're gonna click it one time and try turn on the truck or not on but in the on position you see that the reverse lights are on well you can't really see it or you kind of can and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, adjust it back to park and you'll see how it turns off So that's pretty much how it works. I'm gonna disconnect this for now. So we can swing this over to the other side. We have more space to play with. So the position of when it's in reverse, it pretty much gives continuity to two of these wires. I forget which wire, which wires it was, but we can double check that. So pretty much the power comes in and once it's switched into the reverse position, it connects that wire with the power to the wire going to the reverse lights. So Pretty much it closes the circuit and brings power all the way to the reverse lights. But once it's out of that position, that continuity between the power wire and the reverse light wire, it disconnects. Which is why your reverse lights turn off because the circuit isn't being continued anymore. So we can remove this connector and I'll double check which wires it was. Here we've got our handy dandy Milwaukee multimeter. Put it in the continuity mode. So this position all the way to the left when you're facing the Toyota part is park. One click to the right is reverse. So we're gonna see which pins ring out. So these two pins um, this one and this one ring out as of right now. So we're gonna try to take it out of reverse and check those two same pins. And yep, no continuity. So I'm pretty sure those are the two guys. 
reverse park. Sorry, don't mind my fingernails. I need to cut them. Reverse. Neutral. Drive. Back to reverse. Park. So the bottom row. Second and third guy. So now we trace those wires and check how they plug in. So it goes like that. So bottom row, second and third guy, which is gonna be this one, second and third guy. So it is those two wires right there in the middle. The second and the third guy. Second and third guy. So now we know what wires to tap into and this is the reverse switch. So there's two pins in here and when you put the shifter in reverse it pretty much pushes a button that closes the circuit and I don't have the plug and the wiring for that guy so I ordered one online. It is from Wiring Specialties. And I also bought a new reverse light switch. So this is the button I was talking about. So it presses in once the shifter lever is in reverse. And when this button closes, it pretty much closes the circuit. So we can test that out as well. I can show you guys. So we have my multimeter leads on each pin. And when the button closes, there you go. So whenever you hear the beep, it pretty much means that there's continuity. But when the button is out, it breaks the continuity. So it, it pretty much stops the flow of electricity. And this is the connector that I bought. And I realized that it doesn't fit. So, we are pretty much going to have to do some butcher moves. This connector is for a R154, but the trans that we have is a R150. And I guess the connectors are different. I couldn't really find any other connector pigtails for the R150. So, I was hoping that this would work, but as you guys can see, this middle part is like connected with the outside perimeter whereas this one has like a closed part it's supposed to be open so it allows it to you know what I mean? go inside so what I'm gonna try to do is cut open one of these sides don't know which side to do I'm gonna try to do it. Going to this side. Careful. Don't cut yourself. I got the notch in, but it's still kind of too skinny so I need to open it up a little bit don't do this this is dangerous you might cut your finger or your hand like Chris if you're watching this Chris be careful next time when holding knives <laughs> just kidding Chris That fits pretty well. I 
The only thing is that the clips are different. So yeah, you know what I mean? You see it? It won't clip or like click or lock or whatever you want to call it. But it fits pretty well inside though. So now I want to check if the contacts on the pigtail is actually touching the contacts on the switch itself. So grab your handy dandy wire strippers. Strip the wires. to go like deeper inside so I'm gonna try and trim this so let your pencil make a mark so I will start off with this much about the connector not clipping each other because this thing is pretty solid and it kind of takes like some amount of force to get it off so that's a good thing so this uses a 1 and 16 inch socket and don't forget your um, chilling washer here So we're going to peel off our insulation and then get to those two wires. So once you got everything taped up, you can throw it back to the other side. And then finally plug in our newly made harness for the reverse light switch and we're gonna test it out right now gonna make sure the car starts and make sure the reverse lights turn on
after we tested if you're happy with everything like how I am happy that my reverse lights are working again you can go ahead and buckle everything down with some zip ties and you're good to go and we are now ready to reverse test one more time for the people in the back New shirt design by the way. Keep an eye out on our website for the latest drops. Damn, this guy is looking nice. Let me see the views from the street. Ooh, I'm gonna have to pull out the truck for a cover photo. Alright guys, so I'm back inside now, about to do some editing and I just wanted to say thank you again to all of my subscribers for your continued support and for those of you guys who are interested in copying some shirts or some stickers which we still got and some hats. which isn't posted on the website yet, but will be soon. Fortunestatus.com, be on the lookout for new drops and new listings and new merch products to buy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All of you guys who've been messaging me on Instagram, asking me how I did the wiring. I hope this helps you guys. And I hope you guys get your freshly swapped five-speed Tacomas started and running good. So I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like, drop a comment down below, share videos, and subscribe.